Let's talk about compounding with manufactured dosage forms. In particular, let's focus on non-sterile products. So as a compounding pharmacist, you might be asked to prepare solutions, suspensions, topical products, suppositories, capsules, or to convert one dose, for example, like an oral to rectal, or a dosage form, say injection to oral, into another using a manufactured pre-specified dosage form. When available, the best and easiest thing you can do is to use bulk chemicals. Now, when we do these calculations, they may seem daunting, but they're actually pretty similar when we break them down um, to what we've done before. They're very similar to previously encountered calculations, and today we'll focus on compounding different dosage forms from fabricated products. So here's a practice problem. How many milliliters of a 50% weight per volume magnesium sulfate solution for injection and how many milliliters of 5% dextrose for injection should be used to prepare 250 mils of 15% weight per volume magnesium sulfate solution for infusion? So you notice here that we're taking two different products that would be normally manufactured for injection and we want to make an infusion product. So what we know are our halves and our wants. So we know that we have 50% magnesium sulfate solution <clears throat> and that we have a 5% dextrose solution. And of these, we want to make a 15% magnesium sulfate in a quantity of 250 mLs. So we're gonna think back to our old equations and all of the tools and resources we've learned so far. And we're gonna think about that old friendly equation, the C1 concentration one times volume one is equal to C2 uh, times V2. And our halves, <clears throat> we're gonna remember that the 50% uh, magnesium sulfate is our initial concentration. So we can go ahead and set up the equation as such. So 0 0.5, again, that represents our 50% magnesium sulfate times V1, because that's what we're looking for. We wanna know how much of that particular concentration will contribute to the final outcome. And we have already our concentration of our final product as well as the volume. So if we solve this, we can do 0.5 times V1 is equal to um, 37.5. Ultimately, our V1, if we solve, is 75 milliliters of magnesium sulfate. And if you remember, that's the 50% uh, concentration. So the other part of this was how much dextrose do we need? So pretty simple, we can just set up a quick subtraction because we know that our total, uh, total volume was 250 mLs of the uh, magnesium sulfate of the 15% minus our calculated volume of the 50%. And we do that and we get 150 milliliters of dextrose. And thus you have figured out the uh, amount that you need of each of these two uh, different solutions.